Hello, I am double bassist and composer Edgar Meyer, and uh, I am being told that I'm going to answer some questions about the double bass. Okay, I'll look at the first one. What is a double bass used for? Well, I guess most commonly it's used for uh, playing the lowest note uh, or the lowest voice in an ensemble. Um, in the orchestra, it often doubles the cellos and uh, gives depth uh, to the bass line. And uh, in jazz, um, it is the heartbeat or the pulse of the music. Um, and um, then in some popular music, they might put electric bass on and, it's just, and double bass is just for a visual. Who is the best double bass player? Probably the one who's influenced me the most is a man named Ray Brown. Um, and um, he, um, he set a standard that I aspire to. Um, he found a way to use the instrument within jazz that was, um, that suited the music and suited the instrument, but you know, he brought a, a tremendous uh, intellect and um, dignity, if you will, to it. And um, he found a way while playing the bass line to enter into the conversation of the other instruments in a way where he was in no way lesser, just lower. How is a double bass different to a cello? Well, um, the cello is um, a little smaller. Um, I think it's about half the size of a double bass. Um, and um, it's probably more acoustically ideal. It has a wider range of uh, color, like the low string is quite deep and the, and the top string is quite penetrating. And the bass has a slight uh, mustiness up and down. It's just the nature of the beast a little bit. Um, I think one of the things that's quite interesting about the double bass, uh, though about, as compared to a cello, is the double bass um, is involved in a, a lot of cool music that the cello is not involved in. You know, most notably jazz. I mean, uh, um, the bass has been an important part of probably a lot of the most interesting jazz that's been um, that's been recorded. So it gives uh, just a sense of place. And, uh, and, uh, and something to start from, something to be inspired by. What are the lowest and highest notes the double bass can play? Um, right now, the way I have this bass set up and tuned, my lowest note is a C. And that's a C that's a little bit, it's still on the piano. The piano has three notes lower than that. But it's, um, and then, you know, string instruments don't have a highest note. You can just keep, keep going as high as you want. I'll, here's a little bit of an idea. So, and you could keep going past that. I mean, there's no end, you know, uh, I'll make the point. There's no end to that. Uh, the same, on violin, you know, it gets so high before you're even to the end of the fingerboard, you know, the point is why would you even go any higher? And that's, that's going too far. You, I don't advise it. It's not nice to the listener, um, but, but there's no limit in theory to how high a string instrument can go. Why play the double bass? Um, I, I think, you know, just first and foremost uh, would be uh, that you like the sound of it. If you like the sound of it, um, that would be a, the best starting place. And then um, past that, um, double bass has a natural involvement in a wide range of music. And if you add the bass guitar, which is a really strong uh, cousin of the double bass, you can play most types of music. Um, I mean, there's, there's some substantial music outside of Western uh, civilization, you know, outside of the Western music that doesn't use the bass, but most Western music has some kind of a bass instrument. And, you know, if you're doing 
double bass and maybe bass guitar, you can play with anybody. You can play in any band, you can play in, in the orchestra, you can play in the jazz ensemble, you can, you'll have friends. How do you play the double bass? The two most common ways to play it are to pluck it, and to bow it. How does a double bass fit in a car? Um, it takes a little bit of creativity sometimes. Uh, it's very easy if it's a, a large SUV or a station wagon, um, but I've never found a car I could not get it into. Actually, one of the hardest ones is certain vans are configured in ways that make it difficult. But a lot of the time, um, you can put it across the seats. A lot of the time, you can put it in the front passenger seat, tilt it a little bit if it's a small car, and lean that seat back quite a bit. So it's taken up some back seat too. But, uh, but that often works. But like I say, with a little bit of creativity, I've been able to get it in kind of almost everything. <laughs> 